What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new, I appreciate it for coming to watch the videos. Uh, do hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to keep up to date with the builds that I have going on in the garage. Today's video is a bit of a different one. It's a how-to. We're going to change ball joints on a mini. So I'm going to show you how to do it and see how easy it is. So yeah, enjoy guys. So guys, before we start the video, I'm going to jump into what we need to actually do ball joint on a mini hub. The first thing you're gonna need is obviously a good voice, good strong one. This is bolted to my bench. Next of all is grease gun with plenty of grease in it. A torque wrench, a half inch ball joint socket. Obviously some new ball joints, Rover ones, genuine. Make sure you get proper ball joints. Also a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, a pliers, some degreaser and a few rags. Obviously, the main thing you're gonna need is a hub. So here's one I made earlier. Now what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna give everything a wipe down and then we're gonna have a look at the top and the bottom ball joint to see what the issue is. Just keep the area clean, just so we don't get absolutely filthy, but we are gonna get dirty, so it does not matter. So I've given there a good wipe down, getting rid of most of the excess grease. So let's have a look at this top ball joint. Now guys, with ball joints, you're supposed to have a proper drag on the ball joint. It shouldn't be too loose. As you'll see the problem with this top ball joint, you shouldn't be able to do that. I can feel it hop up and down as well. Now these weren't done so long ago. Maybe they need a shimmer to in it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you how to do it. So guys, force is forced. I'm going to remove this grease nipple before I do any hammering of any of the exterior because I don't want to damage the grease nipple. It's a size number eight. So you literally just loosen it and take it out. We're gonna set that aside, make sure it doesn't get lost. So we put it on the red toolbox there. Now we're just going to hammer the edges around the edge as they have been hammered up to stop this from turning. So we're going to do that now. It's an absolute pain to do. We're just going to loosen this off. I'm just going to turn the hub and then I'm going to hammer it off that way. So I have a good bit of grip on it just to get the edges of the metal down. Now guys, all the edges tapped around. You just have to tap that around just so you can get this socket on. That socket goes on like so. We're going to use an impact gun to go on the top here. And we are gonna impact it off. So, you don't have to go hell for leather. You can just impact it off till it's loose and then you can do the rest by hand. And we're gonna take this out. You can see that everything looks good in there. Maybe there just wasn't enough shims on it. As you can see, there are three thin shims on that. And we're just gonna take out the little seat where the ball joint was sitting in. Now we're gonna take one of our cloths and we are going to just lean around. Get a good wipe all the way around. Get all the way in there, get it nice and clean. Get all of the old grease out. And we're going to hit it with some degreaser, clean it out, and then we're going to begin fitting the new ball joint. Now guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a dry run. So I'm going to get all the new ball joint out for the top here, and we're going to do a dry fit before anything. Get it on, do it down to 20 foot pounds, see how many shims we need, get it all sorted, and then grease everything up. Because you don't want to grease it up, fit everything together, because the grease will add that extra bit, and it might not be the best solution of it so you want to get it all set up with a good even drag left right up and down so we're going to dry run the ball joint now and i'll show you what i'll do now guys first off we're going to fit the base washer and then we're going to grab the grease nipple and we're going to stick that right back in there and then tighten it up just hand tight you don't want to go overboard that's in place right now next we are just going to just remove this nut for a second and we're going to make sure everything is hunky dory in there so we're going to remove the rubber seat and then we are going to grab our 
nipple we are going to sit that right in and then just going to screw that on get a hand tight and you're just going to give it a few turns with your hand and then we're going to set up the torque wrench now guys i checked the specs online and it says 70 to 80 uh, torque foot pounds or 9.6 to 11.11 .11. so i'm just setting it at 72 foot pounds so we're just going to give this a bit of a tightening that's already starting to bind in there already so we're just going to give it a bit of a tightening and you'll hear a click so that's very tight so yeah guys that's very when i talk that up it's very tight so what we need to do is we'll add a few shims talk it down again and then give it another go we have our shims here in the bag so we take them out we take all of them out and we'll have a look see what ones we have so we have very thin ones and we also have thick ones so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the very thin ones and we leave the thick ones for now we'll add one thick one and then we leave the rest aside. We'll stick this on, tighten it up by hand all the way. See, it feels a lot looser anyway. So, we'll torque this up, see how she feels. It's still very tight. So, we need more shims on this one. So, we're just going to loosen it off. So, I just removed it there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the shims off if I can. <laughs> A very thin one so we take the very thin one off we leave that thin one on and we will put on two thick ones and we'll have a look and see how that goes perseverance guys you just have to keep going at it until it's right now hand tight again short wrench still very tight you should be able to do it by hand but it's still very tight so guys i've removed all the shims so i'm just going to add all the thick ones that's a very light one so we won't add that it's a nice thick one again and maybe one light one at the end i'm going to stick it on and try it again Look it down now that's perfect you can feel the drag side to side so once i grease that up it'll free it up a bit so what we're going to do is we're going to open it up grease it up put it back together and then grease the nipple and try it again Perfect. Perfecto. Now, what we're going to do is just take this off, stick on our grease gun onto our nipple. I'm just going to pump in grease until it comes out a little bit. Now, as you can see, it just came out of the ball joint just there. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to rub that right around, all the way around, and then give it a wipe off, stick our hat on, and our nut and bolt. Now guys, last but not least, this lip on the edge needs to be hammered up so the nut can't rewind on itself. You just get a hammer. And then you're going to do it on the opposite edge around the other side. So we're going to get a screwdriver in there and we're going to hammer in that edge right here. Then we're just going to spin around to the other side here. We're going to hammer in the edge around here. And get the screwdriver in on that as well. Now guys, one ball joint done. Easy peasy. 
Now guys, I hope this ball joint fitting helps you out a lot. Um, it's pretty easy to do. It literally would take you, without filament, probably five minutes to do one ball joint, depending on how many shims you have to put in and how many times you have to take it off and put it on. But it's relatively easy. Now that's the top ball joint. The bottom ball joint has a spring in it before the seat, for the actual ball joint to sit in, because there's extra load on the bottom ball joint. That's what the spring is there for, to keep tension. So I'm gonna do that one now, but it's all the same than doing a top ball joint that just has an extra spring in it so yeah guys if this video helped you give it a thumbs up don't forget hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon keep up to date with the builds and if you need any more how to or guides on anything you need to do with your mini or any other car hit me up in the comment section i appreciate it guys don't forget all your mini parts you can buy from minispares.com they're really decent and um, the prices are a bit weird now with brexit but yeah guys cheers for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it peace out